Hi everyone, welcome back. So I have my card base and then I have the one of the layers from the A2 Waffle Flower uh, layers dies, the second one in. I then have a couple more dies from the mini slimline um, Waffle Flower dies as well. And then I'm using a circle die from Spellbinders from the large circles dies from forever ago. Um, and a couple of the stamps from the full gnomes uh, stamp set from Spellbinders as well. I think it was in one of the um, card kits. And then the Copic markers, I just chose colours that I thought would work together um, for this sort of colour combo that I've got going on. So to start with, I'm taking my Tim Holtz, um, what's this thing called? Stamping platform. <laughs> And I've got some temporary tape just stuck to the base of the of the uh, of the platform. Uh, this just helps to hold things in place, especially if they're little things like this. So this is the Waffle Flower Mini Slimline, and I thought it made a great size for a um, sentiment strip. So I'm using one of the sentiments, which excuse my head while I get it lined up somewhat straight, um, and I'm lining it up more towards the right hand side, and you'll see why later on. But I'm just going to line that up and then I'm using my fingers just over the top of them because these are new stamps to me. And um, I'm using some Ink on 3 Detail Black Ink to stamp it and I will stamp it a couple of times. It was only after I'd made this card that I realised that wasn't actually the sentiment that I wanted to use. I wanted to use the sentiment that said, uh, thankful for my gnomies because I've got this little gnome on here. But this works too. So, <laughs> And I'm always saying about this sort of thing. So... It works fine. So then I'm going to do the same thing with my little gnome. I'm going to pop him in the circle um, and just stamp him down a couple times as well. Again, because he's a new stamp, so I wanted a nice crisp image. And the detailed ink will uh, from Ink on 3 will be fine with your Copic markers or your alcohol markers. So I've sped through this bit uh, quite a bit just to get the colouring done. But all I'm doing is I'm doing a flicking motion for the beard and I'm using a warm grey one just on its own. I'm not adding, this image is really tiny, I'm not going to add tons of shading. Um, I do maybe a little bit more for the, the little outfit and his shoes but nothing again major, it's a tiny image. And then for the, um, like the skin for his nose and his little hands. I used E11, <laughs> that marker was driving me mad, <laughs> E11 and I can't remember what this one was, sorry, <laughs> but a lighter shade, just so that you get a little bit of um, blending going on there. And also for the um, for the hat and the little outfit and his shoes, I'm going to use two shades of a G, I think it's G85 and 82. Um, I'm trying not to look at the numbers anymore with my Copic markers. Um, I do have some of them numbered. These ones I don't because they're newer markers to me. But I'm trying not to actually look at that. So I've actually swapped them around in my storage so that I look at the colour on the lid, not the numbers. <laughs> so that I can try and get more use out of it. Anyway, so I also dragged out a cuddle bug in Bosnian folder and this is the tiny dots. And I think this is a great staple, like tiny dots or dots of any kind. Uh, for anything but these are the five pieces that are going to create our card today so i have the card base on the left there and i'm going to now stick my embossed um, panel to it so this is the waffle flower die that, that we die cut out you could easily other than maybe the circle because i mean even the circle you could you can hand cut out but all of these pieces and strips of paper you could cut with a paper trimmer really really easily I just like the dies, it's just easy for me, <laughs> so it takes the guesswork out. And I love that the Waffle Flower A2 and the Mini Slim Lines work really well together so that you can, um, you know, layer them up and they can create, like they, they fit across each other, if that makes sense. So the orange panel is from the Mini Slim Line, but the back panel with the dots on it is the... Uh, a2 layering die so it's just really cool how they work really well together so once i've done that i put the sentiment on some foam and also my little nomi on some foam and pop them in place and that is it super simple card design really easy to do 
Um, but I, I love, I'm having a thing about white <laughs> card bases and white on white and white space. I'm learning more and more about it. So I hope this was fun. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you give this sort of design a little bit of a whirl. And uh, yeah, thanks for being my nomies. Till next time. Bye for now.